In this 3ds Max Tips and Tricks video, I want to talk about the right-click um, fields, uh, spinners, and so on. So you probably are aware that when you start creating an object, for instance, let me create a sphere and activate base to pivot, so I am able to immediately create the um, the sphere on top of my uh, of my ground plane. When you're holding down your, your left key, when you right click, you're canceling the object creation. A similar approach when you right click any kind of spinner in 3ds Max. So the white arrows that are literally the spinners. So if you, if you right click on a spinner, the spinner will get the lowest value the object uh, parameter can have. So imagine if I right click on my segments spinner, um, the lowest value is four with a regard to segments. Uh, so that's 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 one one tip. Right click on the spinner. That's a, a basic um, thing in 3ds Max. Another interesting approach uh, with regard to uh, typing in values, etc. Uh, my display unit is set to millimeter in this in this particular example. Uh, but if I want to type in any value in meter or centimeter, what you can do is just uh, type in the unit you want to you want to have. So imagine if I want to have the radius of this particular sphere a nine centimeter, um, I'm just typing in nine followed by cm from centimeter and that will automatically convert it into your uh, current uh, display unit so you can always type in any kind of value if you want to do so if I do 0.2 and from meter is automatically converting it um, another nice tip and trick maybe you want to do a calculation based in a field what you uh, what you can do when a field is active and you use the control n from nitro you will have access to a numerical expression evaluator. So you can do any kind of, of calculations. Um, let me do 12 multiplied by three, and then you can base the value and copy it into any kind of particular field. Quite nice. Um, also, when you right click in a field, you do have many options available. Um, so you can, add keyframes if you want, you can delete keys, uh, you can copy, uh, paste animation, and also a very interesting one is the set to default. So for a sphere, the radius default doesn't make sense. Well, because the default is zero. Uh, so let me change it back to a radius of 20. Uh, it's, it starts making sense though, when you work with modifiers and you're just experimenting with modifiers. So let me select my teapot. So what I've done with the teapot, I've created a fairly simple animation. It's just a move and I've been adding a flex modifier. Um, so let me open up my modify panel. Uh, so it's the teapot with a bend and the flex is, um, is creating my secondary animation, right? And I'm not sure, maybe I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I've changed the flex value to 5.0 and I don't know, I can't remember what is what is exactly the default in this particular uh, field, so the flex. So if I right click the, the value, if I set it to default, then it's going back to the default uh, flex value, which is um, 0.1 by, by default. Um, so that's some handy tips and tricks with regard to spinners in, in 3ds Max. Mm -hmm.